Okay, the doorbell works. Doorbell's not illuminated. It's kind of painted there, but not really sealed. The front door jam looks pretty good, actually. Got some vaulted ceilings, and we got some popcorn in these ceilings. All right. So, um, fireplace has got a lot of Christmas going on, so we're just really not going to look too far up in there. Uh, moving on around, the sliding glass door is single pane. Okay, but it is tempered safety glass. Moving on down, the thermostat's in the dining area. Okay, the thermostat's not programmable. Um, none of the three. You see dust around the grills like this? That tells you that your coils are dirty. Okay, this is the first bedroom. Okay, moving on down to the master bedroom. Put a little light on the subject. Okay, switched light. Hi. Moving in. Closets. Got a bare light bulb in the closed closet. We don't have the pull chain. How about that? Okay, no, it's got a switch, no pull chain, but still a bare light bulb. Skylight in the master bedroom. Perlator, single faucet. And over here. The fan switch is again too close. This light, this light fixture is too close to the bathtub. Okay, that's a conventional light fixture. It's probably here since day one. It's too close. This drain stopper is missing. Oh no, it's got a, a pull handle. The um, commode, I don't know why the top is missing like that. It's, it's right up here. But apparently they have to jiggle it. that make it a little more convenient. We'll find out. We'll play with the bathtub a little more. Again, we got carpet. I'll get back to that. Now, this is interesting, okay, the air is too close to the furnace, like on you know, the other units. But this door has been insulated, all right? This is a weather stripping door, so this air has been isolated. This is this is an acceptable application. Uh, filters 14 by 25. Okay, saved by the bell. We still have a portable cord. Okay, that's not acceptable. Uh, we don't have a sediment trap going to the gas line. Okay, we shouldn't have tape on the flute. Okay. Get a little farther back, get some light. We shouldn't have tape on the flute. Uh, primary drain line does not have a P-trap and it's not insulated. So a lot of things are consistent with all three of these units. But one thing that's different about this unit, except maybe the tape, but uh, one thing that's different about the unit is that this door is actually weather stripped. Okay, moving in, ceramic tile. Water heater's in the kitchen closet, okay, and we have a expansion tank. All right, uh, these lines should have been insulated. This TMP should have been insulated. Uh, there's a lot of talk that threaded is not allowed by code. There's no code that actually addresses that threaded. All right, but you had to put a nipple on here. You had to put a nipple on here to do that, and uh, that's threaded. Uh, excuse me, corrugated. There's a lot of you know flexible corrugated. There's a lot of conversation about that. Code doesn't really address that. It does address these threads. There's the code violation right there. Okay, the gas line does have a sediment trap. That's the first sediment trap that I've seen today. Conventional gas line. You have the care and use manual. This water heater is only one year old. It's got electronic ignition. There's a safety pan. There's really no place for the water to go from the safety pan. So there's not a safety pan drain is not present. Nor is a watts valve present. Okay, moving on along here. This is a converted garage. The insulation, like I said, is kind of loose there. Moving in here. Now, I'm just going to do this for you. I thought I was a little farther ahead. There's only two screws. I'm going to drop it. Hang on. That's the best part of my show. All right, everybody loves the ride. I haven't dropped a client yet. Sounds like we've got some basketball going on outside. Maybe they'll let me keep score. All right. Do one more. It's either that or just a hundred different little movies. Okay. This is a Fed Pack Burger Box. I haven't been outside. I mean, I haven't been outside, but I'm trying to. This does not have a main disconnect. If 
Okay, if there is a, isn't a main disconnect outside, we need to check that. Federal Pacific. Okay. Unlike the other garage, this panel snugs up next to the wall, and that compromises the fire blocking. You got too big of a gap right in there. Okay, what else have we got going on? It's aluminum to copper. Seems to be the game of the day. Okay, we got bundling up here. All right. See these knockouts? These big knockouts. Those are for L1 and L2. These little knockouts. You're not supposed to bring more. And two circuits, two cables in at a time, it creates a lot of a lot of heat. And of course, they've done that. that that's not right. These neutrals are double lugged. Uh, that neutral is actually wrapped with the black tape, like I was uh, kind of explaining to you. It's 30 amp for the air conditioning unit, so that was actually done right. Panels are not touching the panel cover because the panel cover is so far extended. And we got bundling. The bonding location is not labeled, and we got double lug neutrals. And that's, that's about it, except that it's a Federal Pacific breaker box. And this is the most unpopular breaker box on the market. And buying this breaker box, you shouldn't have any problem. Anybody would love to sell you this breaker box because nobody wants to buy it. You're going to have a hard time selling it. All right, I'm not going to say that you should or shouldn't, but that's just the case. I mean, they're very, very common. Um, um, more of them than just about anything, but by the way, um, they've got bad reputation. A lot of home inspectors won't even open these burger boxes, but but we did. All right, vinyl floors. So we do have some vinyl. We've got some vinyl going on in here. So it's not just carpet and ceramic tile. But then the room addition is vinyl. Some of your receptacle outlets are loose. This is the laundry. Okay, it's labeled hot and cold, unlike the others. Okay, three prong electric. Um, there's a little bit of drip coming out of the hot water side there. That's not GFCI protected. All right, we're back in the kitchen. No foul lines. It's one third horsepower garbage disposal. This dishwasher doesn't didn't look like it's been run for a while, but I'm running it and it doesn't seem to have a problem. There's your stopper and your strainer. Uh, one third horsepower, like I said. It's got a connector underneath it. Okay, unlike number one. I could not move this range. I could not move it to determine whether it had an anti-tip device or not. But they all have bakes and broils. They all have cleans. So far, I haven't seen a convection system. It doesn't tilt out, but um, but I haven't seen that. Moving on along. As long as this is not six inches, then you can have a receptacle underneath there. Okay. Another smoke alarm. Let's try this one. Yep, that one works. Got a smoke alarm in here. We do. And it works. Okay. Smoke alarm's front bedroom. No smoke alarm in the common living area. Smoke alarm in the uh, hallway. Smoke alarms in both of the bedrooms. So we're only missing one smoke alarm. Okay. Then moving on along. This is the front bedroom. This is the bay windows, more carpet, doors opening and closing, it's relatively level, okay.